Gong Aluminum Formwork System. Upon arrival of the containers, the pallets inside each container will be unloaded to the designated area. The Kumgang Kind Supervisor and the client's representative will verify the receipt of the materials based on the packing list. Once the verification is completed, the pallets will be put in order based on location to be set up. As preliminary task, the structural line must be drawn based on the shell plan and based on the structural line, the rebar must be installed. Before installing the panels, it is extremely important to apply sufficient quantity of oil-based form oil in order to prevent the concrete to stick on the panel. When installing the wall panels, the job site workers must start on one side of the wall and install the wall panels with the flat ties. Once the setup of one side has been completed, the opposite side will be completed with the wall panels and PVC sleeves. As shown, the wall panels will be installed as per this portion of the animation. Once all wall panels have been installed, the installation of panels for opening area will start. Once the upstand has been set up, the installation of panels for window area is as follows. Beam cap slab panel, beam cap SC, wall end panel, beam cap SC, beam cap slab panel, prop, and finally beam panel. Once the inner and outer wall panels have been installed, the kicker will be installed on the top of the wall panel. Ensure that the bolt for anchor will be used while installing the kicker panel. When installing the slab corner portion, the workers must first install the SCIC and install the remaining SC panels. In order to keep the horizontality of the wall, the all bracket and square pipe will be installed. The assembly of the main beam will be done by assembling the middle beam, end beam, and prop head together. When installing the slab, start with one standard panel at the corner of the room and then install the main beam. The remaining slab panels will be installed as per this portion of the animation. Once the assembly has been completed, the person in charge of the job site must verify whether all panels and accessories have been installed correctly. When this verification is done, the concrete will be poured on the wall, beam, and slab in a sequential manner. 24 hours after pouring the concrete, the dismantlement will start with the wall panels. Once dismantled, lean the panels along the wall by type and by location. Furthermore, when the panels of opening areas are dismantled, ensure that the prop will remain in its place. After dismantling the wall panels, the slab will be dismantled. While dismantling, ensure that the slab panels will not free fall on the floor or on the workers, and the prop and prop head will stay in its place. The last area to be dismantled will be the slab corner. When installing the external working platform, install them in a distance of 1.2 meters using the tie rods. Once the bracket of the platform has been installed, install the timber for the platform and safety rail. For the setup of the formwork for the upper floor, use the same method and order as shown earlier in this animation. staircase must be installed as follows. Installation of the wall panel on the down area. Verify the installation of the kicker panel. Installation of the slab panel, beam, and props. Installation of the upper part panels. Installation of the gun panels. Installation of the side panels. Finally, installation of the step and cap panels.
ensure that there will always be props on two levels to support the slab. The external working platform must also be installed on two levels. Using the same method shown in this animation, the installation and dismantlement of the Kungong aluminum formwork will be repeated until the full block has been completed. The technological link between the world and its people is Kungong Kind's promise.